My name is Paul Weichel. I'm 53 years old. I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. I had symptoms of MS when I was 18 years old, although at that time no one actually knew what it was. Uh, my legs were uh, causing me to trip and so on like that, and I'd have these attacks. Uh, it took until I was, and this would come and go, this took until I was 40 years old when my hands started going numb and I went to many doctors. Finally, uh, they gave me an MRI where they found lesions on the brain and then I was diagnosed with MS. Uh, during that time, my arm started uh, to get worse and worse where it, it fell asleep. Uh, well, never fell asleep, but I had no feeling then. Uh, then, uh, last year when we heard about the liberation treatments that were being done throughout Canada or throughout uh, the world, we said, uh, geez, there's something we should look into. It. So my wife did a lot of studies of this uh, online, checking into it. Uh, finally, uh, this past spring, uh, one of our, uh, my brother's friends, came down to Mexico here in Tijuana, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, had this treatment done, the liberation treatment. Uh, she also has, not only does she have uh, MS, she also has uh, arthritis. After the treatment, uh, I talked to her and she said how great she was feeling as far as the MS goes. So in fact, she said most of her uh, symptoms had uh, disappeared. So all she's dealing with is uh, uh, arthritis, which she felt was something that manageable. So after that I decided that, our, and my wife, that we would also look into this. Uh, after uh, a few phone calls and some emails and so on like that, it was uh, set up that I would come down to Mexico here in Tijuana and have the liberation treatment done. It was uh, some, uh, September 5th when I came down here. We did some uh, testing found out that I did have some constrictions on uh, of AIDS, especially on my left side, where uh, the blood flow was down probably 90%. So on the Monday, on S September 6th, I had the treatment done. It was very hard to get it done. Uh, they had a hard time getting the balloon in. I needed an angioplasty. Uh, so they had uh, quite a bit of, <coughs> quite a challenge. In, in, uh, expanding this vein. Uh, once they were able to get to the vein, they used an eight millimeter uh, balloon to stretch it out. And then we were able to get in a 12 millimeter balloon to uh, stretch it out further. After that, I uh, went back in my room and I could feel there's no, uh, some sensation in my thumb and forefinger on my left hand. Uh, my legs, which used to get quite tired, but we're also feeling better. I could walk uh, a lot better, it wasn't uh, tripping around, didn't seem to get as tired. And so I think <coughs> after uh, a little while, this is gonna take some time to get everything cleaned out and so on, uh, and get some of the iron deposits flushed out of my body, that uh, I will see improve, improvement every day. And uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I, I know it's, not something that happens overnight. Can we call it a miracle? I don't know. It's just, I think something that's really good that's going to happen that uh, things will get cleared out and uh, improvements will be seen in, in my MS symptoms. And if they all disappear, I'd be happy. If some disappear, I'm also happy. Uh, it's been fantastic here. The people have been so professional. Uh, everybody is very concerned and want only the best to happen for me. They've, uh, I think, gone overboard uh, with everything, making sure that uh, I am informed on what's happening, what has to be done, and also what needs to be done in the future. And uh, it's not just the health of uh, of the veins being constricted and so on like that, but it's my overall health. Uh,
tests have been done not just on uh, my uh, MS symptoms, but also on my general health. And so not only have they been, are telling me about uh, what has to be done to keep the blood flow and so on like that, but also uh, with my uh, cholesterol and, and other things that I should maybe be taking care of. So it's been a great experience knowing that uh, people care about your overall health as opposed to just one little item. So uh, if anybody needs to talk to me about this experience, by all means, give me a call. It's fantastic. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm Paul's wife. Um, when Paul was diagnosed in 2000, I have to say that we were shocked. We had planned on our very first trip. We were leaving the next day and we had gone to a neurologist and found out that he had MS. Um, we were celebrating our 25th anniversary and it just was a shock, I have, I have to say, a shock. Um, we did a lot of research on MS and as the years went by and he progressed and his arm went numb, his legs went numb, um, it, it's hard, it's hard living uh, the life that we were used to because we went for walks every night for an hour. Um, we did so much, we were very athletic, we always did bike riding, golfing, um, as he progressed it got less and less and I found myself kind of going downhill, <laughs> if you would call it that. I just didn't want to do anything in the evenings. Um, we just sat around. Um, when we heard about the liberation treatment, we were just thrilled. We heard about it on a Sunday evening on W5. On Wednesday, we went to Paul's neurologist and when we walked in, he handed us a piece of paper saying that, um, you know, this isn't something you should be looking at. It's not going to help. Um, this is just saying basically that it's a slap in the face to neurologists that all the research they have done um, is wrong. We were so disappointed when we left that. Um, I did more and more research and I kept reading about the people that have gone for the liberation treatment and just the way Paul would walk where he would kind of drag his leg and and they have this done and that they could walk again and that's all we wanted was that even if we could walk around the block that's all we wanted and I think it's gonna happen we we're very happy about it and we've had nothing but good um, help here uh, at Tijuana. Everybody has been so helpful, very informative, um, pleasant. It's, it's just been a really great experience. It's been a very good experience and we look forward to the future.